Okay, I'm looking at the Amazon website right now, and the Panasonic Lumix DMC FZ1000 just went up for pre-order, $897.99. You can see there is the price, and this looks like this could be an awesome sub $1,000 do-it-all camera. And I'm going to switch over to the website for. Let me see here. Here we go. B and H. Uh, they have a, and I'm going to link to these in the in the notes on this video. B&H has a, a summary up here of the camera right up and then all the specs and most interesting this shoots 4k so for under four under thousand dollars to shoot 4k video and it is at 30 frames a second I would have liked to have seen 60 frames a second but it does shoot 4k video also very interesting at 1080p you can get slow motion 120 frames a second for slow motion and you can get super slow motion at 720p you can get 240 frames per second so that is really cool when I'm shooting like Audrey Schur and she's doing hooping by the way check her out at hoopinglive.com hoopinglive.com we can get that super slow motion of her doing her her tricks with the hoop and it just really looks looks gorgeous to be able to do that and for people to learn they can they can see in slow motion how she does those various really cool moves with the hoop and there's a lot of, of times when you want to use slow motion so that comes in really handy this has the one inch sensor similar to the one that's used in the Sony RX10 and so that is a great sensor this lens has a super reach it's equivalent of I believe about 25 millimeter out to 400 millimeter and but it's not quite as fast as the RX10 which is a fixed f2.8 aperture this goes to f2.8 to f4 as you zoom out it rapidly goes to to f4 as you zoom in on the subject I mean so but still that's a pretty fast lens it's going to be pretty good and in, in, in decent light it should be good in, in relatively low light as well these modern sensors are pretty good and that one inch sensor made by Sony is known for its low light capability so that should be pretty good this does have a mic input which is huge uh, the new RX100 Mark III just announced by Sony does not have a mic input I would have bought one but it just does not have a mic input I will not buy a camera without a mic input I did pre-order one of these. By all accounts, it should be a very good walk-around, do-everything camera. So if you need something to shoot video clips, if you need something for quick stills, if you need a second camera and a two-camera shoot, this might be ideal for that. I mean, you got a bag of lenses here. Are you kidding me? Out to 400 millimeter, 25 to 400 millimeter? That's like having a bag of lenses with you at all times. So these modern zooms are pretty good, and this should take some really good stills, some really good video clips. Let me know what you think about this latest offering by Panasonic. Thanks for watching.